week's videos are brought to you by us, Book Riot. On November 7th and 8th in New York City, we're hosting Book Riot Live. It's our first reader convention. It celebrates the spirit of play, the excitement for books that you know and love from Book Riot, from this here YouTube channel, and from what you've seen us do all over social media. Margaret Atwood will be there. Daniel Jose Older will be there. Sarah McLean, N.K. Jemison, Beverly Jenkins. Writers from all genres, because that's how we do. People who work in publishing. We've got book designers and editors and agents you'll be able to buy awesome bookish t-shirts. You can come to a cocktail party and hang out with us in the rare book room at the Strand Bookstore, which is gorgeous. And a whole bunch of surprises that we haven't been able to tell you about yet. Go to bookriotlive.com to get more information and to register, and we'll see you in New York on November 7th and 8th for Book Riot Live. Hey guys, Amanda Nelson here. I'm the managing editor of Book Riot, and I'm back with another edition of Ready, Set, Hold. This is a monthly feature where we bring you the big buzzy books that are coming out in the next month or two, so you can go ahead and put them on your hold list at your local library and be at the top of the list instead of the bottom. In this edition, we're talking about books that are coming out in September. If you don't know, fall is a big season for publishing, probably the biggest season. Um, a lot of publishing houses save their biggest books for the fall, so September is a big month. Tons of stuff coming out, so I'm going to jump right in and go through these really fast. So, here we go. Okay, up first is The Girl in the Spider's Web by David Lagerkrantz. This comes out September 1st from Knopf. This is, of course, a new book in the Millennium Trilogy that Stieg Larsson was writing before he died. Uh, another author has taken up the banner. This is the same characters in this book as in the Millennium series, so The Girl with the Dragon, so the girl with the dragon Tattoo and all of those books. Uh, Elizabeth Salander and Mikhail Bloomquist are in this book and they're on a caper, as they were in the first three books. I know fans of the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series are really excited about this and either and are either really looking forward to continuing the stories of these characters or really trepidatious about a new author taking up the mantle of these books after Stieg Larsson died. So one way or the other, the whole list for this will be pretty long even if people are just there out of curiosity, so make sure you put it on your hold list now if you are a fan. Up next we've got Fates and Furies. This comes out September 15th from Lauren Groff. Uh, by Lauren Groff, this is from Riverhead as the publisher. Lauren Groff is the author of Arcadia, which is a really big novel from a few years ago, and before that she wrote a book called Monsters of Templeton. I've already read this. This is probably going to be my favorite book of the year, I say. You know, with an asterisk, but it's definitely my favorite book that I read in the first half of the year. It's The Tale of a Marriage, uh, two people who meet when they're in college all the way up and for decades, all the way up until they're in their 50s or 60s, I think. The first half is told from the point of view of the husband, the second half is told from the point of view of the wife. It's really fascinating, um, and a lot about kind of the secrets that we keep from each other told in the framework of um, Greek tragedies. It's just amazing. It's really amazing. And this is a great one for fans of perfectly written sentences. There's not an unnecessary word in this book, and I just love that so much about Lauren Graff's writing. So make sure you check this out, September 15th, Fates and Furies. All right, up next we've got The Heart Goes Last. This comes out September 29th. The publisher is non Lisi, and of course, this is Margaret Atwood's newest book. I've not heard a lot about this, not a lot of buzz happening around this book. I don't even think that many of the people at Book Riot have read it yet. I haven't, I haven't heard anything about it. But it's Margaret Atwood, so it's bound to have a big hold list. She could write her grocery list and people would check it out at the library and pay money for it in hardcover. So, uh, so if you're into Margaret Atwood, make sure you put this on your hold list. And sub note, Margaret Atwood is going to be at Book Riot Live. Holla holla. If you are going to be in New York in November or want to see Margaret Atwood and want to come to New York in November, I'll put the link to the Book Riot Live info down below. It's our two-day reader conference happening in the fall. It's going to be a good time. So, moving on. The Bollywood Bride by Sonali Dev. This comes out September 29th. Sonali Dev writes contemporary romance. So her other really well-known book is The Bollywood Affair, which is the story of a love between a Bollywood director, movie director, and his brother's estranged wife, uh, if that makes sense. That, that book is, is actually a lot about arranged marriages and um, faithfulness on top of being uh, a romance, it's got a lot of angst. So that's the kind of stuff that Sonali Dev writes. She's a very popular romance author, um, so if you are, if you haven't read anything of hers, you can, there, you can start with this one. You don't have to go back and read The Bollywood Affair. They're not connected. So that's The Bollywood Bride, comes out September 29th. 
Okay, up next we've got a new book from Salman Rushdie. This comes out September 8th. It's called Two Years, Eight Months, and 28 Nights. And the publisher is billing this as a perfect entry point for Rushdie's work. So if you've never read any Rushdie, which I actually have not, to my great shame. Well, not really shame. I don't, I don't have shame about anything having to do with books, but he's on my TBR. So if you haven't read any Salman Rushdie, this is a good starting point, the publisher says. It's a lush modern fairy tale. That's the blurb. And I can't talk about big modern dudes of literature without talking about Jonathan Franzen's new book. It comes out September 1st. This is Purity. The publisher is calling it a magnum opus for our morally complex time. So if that sounds interesting to you or you are a fan of the Franz, then make sure to check that out. Alright, non-fiction readers, I've got two for you. The first is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. This comes out September 22nd from Riverhead. Elizabeth Gilbert, of course, is the world-famous author of Eat, Pray, Love, and a giant novel um, two years ago, I think, called The Signature of All Things, which I actually read and loved intensely. So Big Magic is Elizabeth Gilbert's book about creativity and dealing with creativity uh, and fear and how those two things work together or against each other. I would give this a chance. I know a lot of people read Eat, Pray, Love and didn't like it and had a lot of criticism of it and have kind of been turned off of her because they didn't like Eat, Pray, Love, but she has really fascinating things to say about creativity and she's a great writer, even if you don't like the content of Eat, Pray, Love or her attitude in that book. Um, but the woman knows how to write a sentence and get an idea across and her ideas about creativity are really interesting so I'm definitely going to read this comes out September 22nd. Also out September 22nd, 1944, FDR and the Year That Changed History by Jay Winnick. I just love a history book. I just love like a chunky history book with a really dramatic name, The Year That Changed History. Um, does the world need another biography of FDR? I don't know, but this is about a very specific time in the life of uh, the country, the world, and the presidency of FDR. As I've said on this channel before, nothing gets me going like a good presidential bio. So nonfiction folks, make sure you check this out. Comes out September 22nd, and let me know what you think. The Epic Adventures of Lydia Bennett. This comes out September 29th by Kate Brick and Rachel Kiley. These are the writers of the Lizzie Bennett Diaries, which is a really popular YouTube series retelling um, Pride and Prejudice on YouTube in video series with modern characters. Um, so updated for modern times. And of course, Lydia Bennett is Lizzie Bennett's wayward younger sister. So this is a novelization of a modernization of, of Lydia Bennett's story. Got that? Novelization, modernization, Lydia Bennett's story. Uh, so this is a very niche <laughs> kind of book for fans of Jane Austen, the Lizzie Bennett Diaries, um, and fan fiction, because that's essentially what this is, which is great. I think fan fiction is awesome. That's it for September's Ready, Set, Hold. Uh, if you've already read any of these books, let me know in the comments what you think about them below, if they're worth the other viewer's time or not. Uh, otherwise, happy reading!